Poor diet and obesity are major public health concerns. One strategy to promote healthier eating is to provide consumers with easy to understand nutrition information on the front of packaged foods where it is easily visible and can quickly inform consumers about a product's nutritional profile. Front of package nutrition labels are currently being used worldwide. For example, a logo known as a choices symbol is being used in the Netherlands, and the Food Standards Agency in the United Kingdom developed a traffic light system that appears on some foods. The traffic light has red, green, and yellow circles to alert customers to low, medium, and high amounts of fat, sugar, and salt in foods. In the U.S., over the years, different food manufacturers have created their own logos to appear on packaged foods, leading to many different labels and a lot of confusion. Yale University researchers Cristina Roberto and Marie Bragg have been conducting studies to try to determine which front of package labeling system would be most helpful for consumers. The Food and Drug Administration has undertaken a front of package labeling initiative to make recommendations for a science-based uniform labeling system. But in advance of those recommendations, the food and beverage industry proposed a new front of package labeling system called Facts Up Front. The Facts Up Front labels include information about calories, saturated fat, sodium, sugars, and up to two nutrients to encourage, such as fiber or vitamin A, that manufacturers can opt to include. The researchers asked participants to complete one of five different versions of an online survey, each featuring the same food products but using different front of package labeling systems. Two versions displayed the traffic light labeling system, both with information about saturated fat, sugar, and sodium. One of these also contained additional information about protein and fiber. Two other versions of the survey displayed the Facts Up Front label. Both contained information about saturated fat, sugar, and sodium, but one had additional information about nutrients to encourage, such as fiber or protein. The last version was a control group that did not display any front of package labels. Prior to being shown the products, participants watched an advertisement that explained how to interpret the labeling system they were about to see. After viewing a series of images of foods and beverages, they completed quizzes asking them to estimate the levels of certain nutrients that those products contained. Participants were also asked to compare the levels of nutrients between mm. products. Hmm? So what we learned from this study is that front of package labels help consumers make accurate nutrition judgments about different foods that they're seeing. What we found is that when people view the multiple traffic light label with the information about fiber and protein, and when they viewed the facts up front labels, they performed equally well when they were trying to decide which of two products was higher or lower in different nutrients. However, when people were looking at individual products and they had to estimate the amounts of saturated fat, sugar, sodium, or fiber or protein, they did substantially better when a multiple traffic light was on the packaging. In addition, people felt that the multiple traffic light was simply more user-friendly. When they viewed the Facts Up Front label, they found that it was more confusing, mm -hmm. took more time to understand, and found that it was hard to interpret. Also, when people saw the Facts Up Front label, they were more likely to underestimate amounts of saturated fat and sugars, but they were more likely to overestimate amounts of fiber and protein. When you look across the groups, we didn't see any differences in participants' rating of a food's healthfulness, of how good they thought a food would taste, or their likelihood to actually buy the food. So what that suggests is that these labels might inform consumers, and if we want to do that in the best way, the multiple traffic light might be the way to go, but we don't know if it will actually influence consumer behavior. We also don't know how it might influence the food industry's behavior. So imagine you're walking down the food aisle and you see a product that has a bright red label on there. Well, the food industry might not want that, and so they might actually lower the level of saturated fat or sodium to get to that point where a nice green sticker is on the packaged food. Existing research suggests that the Facts Up Front system might not be the best approach. There's a lot of information on it about milligrams and grams, which can be confusing. It also uses percent daily value, but we know percentages can be hard to understand and use to compare products. This system allows the food industry to cherry pick certain nutrients to highlight, such as vitamins, which can often make a food seem healthier than it actually is. The results of the study suggest that the multiple traffic light might be the better option for the front of package labeling system, but of course more research is needed.